Hi everyone. Uh, well, today we're going to be talking about hallucinogens and inhalants. This is lesson four. If you need to pause it at any time, please do so. And uh, yeah, feel free. Make sure you get all the notes and um, get your summaries and questions done, as well as all the stuff you need for your silhouettes. Okay. So we're going to start with lesson four today: hallucinogens and inhalants. Hallucinogens. These are drugs that distort moods, thoughts, and senses. We talked a little bit about senses before, okay? But senses would be the, the five senses that you have. You know, touch, taste, hearing, what else? Smelling. There's another one. What is it? <laughs> yep, that's the one. Anyway. Uh, these are psychoactive drugs. Um, at some points, uh, you might hear some things that are similar to other drugs, but they're dangerous because of their unpredictable effects on the human body. Okay, sometimes with these, uh, you might uh, hear hallucinogens as like where people see illusions, uh, such as the purple elephant running across the road, or something like that. Okay, some of these substances are made of natural substances, like cactuses or mushroom, cacti, I guess. Uh, but they can also be manufactured. Hallucinogens affect the user. Okay, they get the word, get their name from the word hallucinate. Uh, to hallucinate means to have visions. Okay. Hallucinogens affect how a person perceives the passage of time, sees colors, senses motion, or hears sound. At some points, uh, police officers will arrest some people that have used hallucinogens. And now listen to this. People explain to the police officer that they see sound and hear color. How crazy is that, right? It's not crazy if we know that hallucinogens affect senses. So the, the user can no longer distinguish between what is real and what is not real, can lead to a strange or risky behavior. LSD and PCP um, are examples of hallucinogens. Eventually, a person will go into a state of psychosis and lose their minds because that's what hallucinogens do. So LSD. LSD is um, a drug made from lysergic acid. It's one of the strongest and most widely abused hallucinogens that there is. Only a tiny amount produces a powerful effect. As you can see in this, this is a actual size dime, and this is called blotter paper. And each one of these, okay, is a is a hit of acid. So they basically just put a dab of that on each one of these squares, and then you tear off a square and put it on your tongue like this and that would be a hit of acid. Um, the psychological effects are often very difficult to predict. It might affect people different ways. Users may experience hallucinogens and may not know where they are or even who they are. LSD um, was made from a scientist in Europe. It's man-made. He was looking to help patients that were mentally ill. And as he was thumbing through his research papers, he'd lick his fingers, and he got some LSD on his fingers. And then as he was licking his fingers to go through those papers, he noticed that his tongue was numb. He recorded this and continued to experience illusions and hallucinations, and it has since become a street drug. Um, so that's how LSD got its origin. The fact that the guy was trying to help people, and he ended up, creating a drug. PCP is another drug um, and the effects are similar to those of LSD but it's not a true hallucinogen in its chemical makeup. It can become addictive and cause violent and unpredictable behavior and PCP users are a threat to others and themselves. There's another story of, from a police officer who was retiring and he was asked what is his scariest moment and he said in the early 80s he, he got a call for a domestic violence case. So he went in to the house. Him and his partner went into the house. 
and they went to the back of the house where they saw the husband beating a wife with a bat. Uh, the husband, after they said freeze, the husband turned and started running at them with a the bat. He was shot 27 times as they backed out through the house. 27 times he kept charging them, and he finally died uh, in the middle of the street as they backed out through the house. How powerful of an influence was he under? It's scary that these are available to anyone in this, um, on the streets. There's another article about a man at a bachelor party. He was using alcohol as well, but with LSD, not PCP, LSD, this one. Um, he was at a bachelor party and he thought he could fly, so he jumped and landed on both feet. He jumped off the, um, out of a window or off of a roof. He landed on both feet and he just shattered his legs. When the EMTs came, he was still alive and his feet were where his knees were but he was still trying to walk around. So this guy had absolutely no idea what had happened. So that's just an example of how powerful these um, hallucinogens can be. Inhalants. Now, inhalants are not drugs, but they are poison, and they're very stupid to use. When you use an inhalant, your brain shuts down. It goes to sleep, okay? An inhalant is any substance whose fumes are sniffed and inhaled to produce mind-altering sensations. They can be found in many household products uh, that you have in your house that are readily available, that are in the stores, that anyone could buy. These are toxic inhalants, not meant to be put into the human body. They cause serious health effects, health defects, and even death. Hundreds die each year from sniffing or huffing inhalants. Let's see if we can move this here. Hmm. <laughs> so it's pretty pretty scary what these things can do um so what damage can inhalants cause well abusing inhalants can damage the protective coating that surrounds the brain cells called myelin the myelin sheath okay um part of these uh, inhalants include markers, nail polish, paint. It's not just, it's just not smart. If you see your friends doing it, slap them on the back of the head, tell them to stop. It's just not smart. It can sh shut your brain down immediately on your first try. So, um, you know, anyone could be affected. It doesn't matter if you're an athlete, a student, uh, just a regular person, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you're damaged, if the myelin sheath is damaged, the nerve cells may not be able to send messages to other parts of the body. It can affect a person's ability to walk, talk, or think. It can cause instant death. It can also cause people to die from choking, suffocation, or a heart attack. And as we uh, check on Schoology here, you'll notice that right here, oh, well, let's see. Okay, we're going over this. This, uh, what drugs do in your body is a video you can watch. This one also, Intervention Huffing, is another video you can watch. We used to show it, but we just don't have time this quarter. But feel free to show, uh, to watch that video on your own. Okay. So, these inhalants can uh, cause instant death. Choking, suffocation, heart attack, those, that's, those are all uh, people die from that. And then take a look at this guy here. Doesn't look like the brightest uh, bulb. But um, other warning signs of inhalant use, eyes that are runny or red, sores or spots near the mouth, breath that smells strange or like chemicals, and holding a marker or pen near the nose. Okay, these are all warning signs of inhalant use. Okay, remember, it's hard to wake that part of the brain up once it goes to sleep. You never know when uh, that time is going to come. So if you're sniffing or inhaling something, you know, you just don't know if you're going to be able to come back from it. So anyway, uh, that's the end of lesson four here. Um, so we're going to move on to Lesson five and six. Thanks.